All right, so today I wanna challenge myself to do something totally different. You see, in my hand, I have the new Ronin RS3 Mini, the latest release from DJI, which I happen to like quite a lot. It's so lightweight, so small, yet it's so strong. And on it, I have the new Sony FX30 with the 24 millimeter f1.4. And together with this setup, I wanna challenge myself to light a scene using just one light. Actually, to light three scenes using just one light. And that light is the new non-light Forza 60B. And as you can see, this light is super small as well. It can be powered by batteries, which I'm doing it right now, and it's extremely, extremely powerful for the size it has. As you can see right now, we are only at 20% and it lights up the whole room. So, because I think this light is super versatile and because in the past, I used the Nanolite Forza 60B quite a lot and because this is the new one, I'm really curious to put this light to the test and I'm really curious to put myself to the test and see if I can light three interesting scenes in my apartment on a random night. I don't have any ideas, I don't have any shot references, I'm just gonna try and be creative on the spot. So let's begin. This is the room that we're gonna film in and as you can see everything looks really yellow in terms of white balance and everything but I'm not gonna change my white balance or anything like that I'm just gonna keep it like this and you're gonna see what I'm about to do I have here my camera and everything so first I'm gonna show you exactly how the footage looks only with this lighting and then I'm gonna change everything and I'm gonna start using the Forza 60B2 so Let's begin. As you saw, it looks quite bad and it doesn't look pleasing. So even if we change the white balance, I'm still not get, gonna get the desired effect. So what I'm gonna do next is basically I'm gonna shut down this light and that light as well. So you're gonna see a difference after I shut down these two lights and power on our now light Forza 60B. So as you can see, the reason I did not change the white balance of the camera is because I still wanted the background to be that color. And I only wanted my actress to have a different white balance so I can create color contrast. What I'm gonna do next is place a softbox on my light and you're gonna see a difference because right now the light is a little bit harsh on our actor's face, even though I think it looks quite soft to be honest. For the fact that it doesn't have any diffusion on it but let's put a softbox and let's see how things changes when you put a softbox in you're gonna immediately see a decrease in exposure on her face so i'm just gonna record a shot so you can see exactly what i mean the light has the exact same features as it had before but now there isn't that much light. So you have to keep in mind whenever you put diffusion or anything like that on your light, you're gonna lose one or two stops of light. So now we have to compensate from the light and make it a little bit brighter. So we, if you look in the back, I'm just gonna record a little bit. If we look in the back, we can see the solve box there. So I'm gonna have to do something in order to not see it. I'm either gonna change the orientation of the camera and come from here and try to avoid it, or I'm gonna try to move the light a little bit in the back so we cannot see it any longer. Try to avoid any spills from the saw box and increase the light a little bit more. What I want you to understand is that the light right now is only at 29%. So we have enough light to make anything we want. So 
I love how the exposure looks right now. Everything looks more natural. We have more fill in the room, so I think the shot looks better. So I'm gonna press record and you're gonna see exactly how it looks. So as you can see, the shadows gets filled better and everything looks a little bit more pleasing, not so contrasty as you can see. This is our next setup and as you can see, a few more lights have could been better but I think I'm gonna get the shot. So our light is right over there and it's with a projector lens and it's mimicking some blinds. And you're gonna see in a bit on the shot that it actually looks quite cool. And I think it sells the idea that it's uh, a sunset and sun is about to go down and if we get closer kind of looks better but if we get a little bit too wide there is too much black so that's not okay but I think I have an idea on what I can do. If we open up this, it might fill up our shadows. For my next shot, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm pointing the Forza 60B towards the wall and then the wall creates a very soft light that bounces onto Madalina. And what I want to do is like create like a night shot where she seems like she's staying on a tablet and it's night and we have a little bit of lighting there that is keeping the atmosphere. And what I did is also change the white balance of the light so because the Forza 60B has white balance I can put a, a little bit of a more colder tone onto this scene and uh, see exactly how it works. So let's see if this scene is gonna look nice. I hope you enjoyed this video and you managed to learn a few things from it. As you can see, you can get very creative even with one light. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm Alexandra Don and thanks a lot for watching. Peace.